and welcome to the Veggie Kitchen. I'm your host Ed. We're coming to you from Orange County, California and I'm continuing on with my potato toppings. I got the baked potatoes going in the oven. That was from the first episode. And now I'm starting with my tofu, broccoli and tomato sauce. First thing, as always, a little bit of oil on the pan. We're using olive oil. Just a smidge because this is a nonstick pan. I'm going to let the oil heat up. We'll be back in a moment. VeggieKitchen.org Welcome back. I've got the oil heating in the pan. It looks like it's about ready to go. I'm going to be adding some onion and garlic. This is fresh onion and garlic, by the way. See? The garlic bulbs came like this. It's not even a bulb yet. It's still fresh. Got it at the farmer market. This way you don't have to peel it. I can cut straight through it. It's a little bit more mild than your dried garlic. And if you don't have this kind, you can definitely use dried garlic. So that's it. That's the onion and the garlic going in. And now, my spices. We wanted a little bit of Italian flavor in this today, so we're using some Italian seasoning, the basic herbal package, and we've just boosted the flavor with a little bit of oregano and basil. Let this begin to saute. And we're using tofu today. This is firm tofu. It's fresh, not frozen, and it's a uh, this is a half a block, so it's about eight ounces. Eight ounces is what we want because it's compatible to the amount of tomatoes we're using. We're using a 16 ounce can of tomatoes. Actually, it's 15 ounce can of tomato. Call it 16, but they only give you 15. So we're going to let this saute up for a bit. And then we're going to be adding the broccoli. For the broccoli, I'm using a bunch ahead about this big. And I already diced it up a bit into little pieces like this. Broccoli is a great vegetable, full of nutrition, full of flavor, and you can eat it raw, steam, sauteed, in all so many different ways. I cut it into littler bits so that it will saute quicker. So I'm going to put this in, and then we'll let all this cook up for a bit. I'm going to add the tomato. I'm going to let this actually saute for about two or three minutes, then we'll come back and put in the tomato. Okay? VeggieKitchen.org. Stay tuned. Okay, since we've been off camera, I added the tomato to the tofu and broccoli. It's been cooking about four minutes, just long enough for the broccoli to get a little bit soft. And I added uh, some salt, and I'm going to add now the final ingredient, just a little bit of sugar, just a skosh of raw sugar. That's to balance out the acidity in the tomato. Tomatoes, these are canned tomatoes, as I said, and canned tomatoes contain lycopene, which is an antioxidant. It's really good for men to eat tomatoes because it helps minimize, uh, the lycopene helps minimize chances of uh, prostate cancer. It's funny because there's actually more lycopene in the cooked the stewed tomato or canned tomatoes than there is in fresh. Okay, anyway, this is done. I didn't want my broccoli to get too soggy. It looks just right. It has a little bit of give still. And here I have heating up the peas and cheese I made from the first show. And the potatoes. Again, remember one hour. One hour to bake the potatoes three at 375. And I am at <laughs> an hour. So everything's cool. I'm going to pull those out and we're going to dress the potatoes and we'll come back and show you that and that'll be it. Okay? This is... Tofu, broccoli, and tomato sauce, peas and cheese, going over the baked potatoes. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I got the potatoes dressed here. It was exactly one hour at 375. They're done. And I've got my peas and cheese in this one here. And I have the broccoli, tofu, and tomato in this one here. They're ready to serve. Simple meal and uh, great comfort food, as I said. We have one vegan one and one with a little bit of cheese and that's okay. I wanted to also tell you though about the pea cheese. This is a great recipe and it makes a great dip. We also have it here with a few chips and crackers so try it, okay? Uh, VeggieKitchen.org. You can subscribe to us on iTunes. Just search for The Veggie Kitchen. Thanks for watching.